Fellow wizards, let's do some magic. Or should I say, fellow scientists, let's do some science. Session number one, chain fontaine. For this experiment, we need a chain with beads and a coffee mug. Attention, please. Try this experiment at home. Did you see that? Did you see how the chain rised up from the mug? Is it magic or physics? This phenomenon can be explained in terms of energy and momentum. When you pick up one end of a rod, two things happen. One rod goes down and one goes up. The one that goes down is because of gravitational energy. The one that goes up naturally wants to go down. But if the downward force is stopped by the pile of chain beneath it, there is a kind of kick pack and the rod is pushed up. That's why the chain is raised. Session number two, weightless water. For this experiment, we need an empty bottle, fabric mesh, toothpick, a transparent container, a tube, and of course, water. Attention, attention. Please try this experiment at home. Weightless water. How cool is that? Did actually water won gravity? Now, how did this work? The secret is right in front of your nose. It's the air we breathe. Air molecules in atmosphere apply pressure on everything. When I first turn the tube upside down, the pressure of air inside the tube and the air pressure outside the tube are equal. If you look closely, you will notice that just a little water leaks. This happens because the force of gravity naturally pulls down on the water. When some of the water escapes, this causes the volume of air to increase slightly. The pressure of the air outside the tube is now greater than the pressure inside the tube. But how does the water stay in the tube when the foil is removed? The answer is surface tension. The surface of liquid behaves as it is a thin membrane stretched over it. A force called cohesion causes this effect. The water stays in the tube even though the foil is removed because the molecules of water are joined together to form a thin membrane between each tiny opening. When the seal is broken, air enters into the tube, equalizes the pressure, and gravity pushes the water out.
As we have mentioned in the previous experiment, the trick is with a small difference in pressure. The molecules of water are joined together through cohesion to form a thin membrane between each tiny opening. If you give the bottle a click, the seal will be broken and the water will run out. Now, the toothpick is made of wood, which is less dense than the water. So, when you insert the toothpick into water, it will be flowed. Session number three. Spells to hide and reveal objects. For this experiment, we need a transparent container and a very special liquid. Guess what? Try this experiment at home. Spells to hide and reveal objects. Glass objects are visible because they reflect some of the light that shines on them and refract the light that shines through them. When light passes from air into glass, it slows down. Every material has an index of refraction that is linked to the speed of light in the material. The higher the material's index of refraction, the slower the light travels in that material. If you eliminate reflection and refraction by a glass object, you can make that object to disappear. That very special liquid that I use, it's just vegetable oil, which has nearly the same index of refraction with the glass. That means if you put glass into oil, you can almost make it to disappear. So what is science then? Science is all around us. It explains every little activity we do. Today we had just a small taste of it. If you want to get involved more, then it's up to you. Join us to discover the different fields of science. Thank you for watching. But who am I and why I am telling you all this? I am Stella Manoli a lecturer in the Department of Mechanical and Aerospace Engineering. As you already figured out, I love science. In a daily basis, I am lecturing university students in the field of engineering. My research revolves around the materials properties, such as materials from renewable sources and materials that can change the properties of light. Experiments such as those we saw today were my inspiration since I was a little girl. I love how physics explain everything in our everyday life, and that was my motivation to become a scientist. Today, as an academic and female researcher, I love to communicate the different concepts of physics, engineering, and science in general. And that was the purpose of this video. Thank you very much for participating.